kids. All right, um, we're going to do a little circular motion problem here. It says you have a 0 0.05 toy B is attached to uh, the ceiling via a string. Uh, this B spins in a horizontal circle. Um, the radius is 0.7 meters. It makes five revolutions in eight seconds. Determine the tension. Okay. All right, so again, uh, first step as I pretty much always in this unit is to draw your free body diagram. So uh, here is my toy B. And yes, I know that looks exactly like the toy B. Um, and then we draw forces acting on it. Force of gravity going straight down. And then I'll have my B going around this way so that the tension, the force of tension is going to be going this way. Okay. So that is my free body diagram. Um, again, as you know, commonplace in this unit, um, you know, my circle is this way, so I want forces that are parallel or perpendicular to that. Uh, this is not, so I have to break it into its components. I'll call this FTY and I'll call this FTX. So for horizontal, vertical. All right. Okay, so next we want to write our free body diagrams using our, or I mean, our, we want to write our equations using our free body diagram. Uh, if we do that in the x direction, we are going to get uh, the sum of the forces in the x direction equals, well, the only force acting is just FTX. Uh, remember, if it's moving in a circle, that's equal to MA, but remember the A is a special A, it's the centripetal acceleration, meaning towards the middle. So FTX equals MAC. For the other side, it's going to be uh, FTY minus FG, and that's going to be equal to zero because it's not accelerating up or down, it's only accelerating in the horizontal direction. Okay, um, so there's our two things. Uh, so now we want to plug stuff in, solve. Um, if we, over here, you're going to get FTY equals FG. Remember, FG equals MG. So if I plug stuff in, 0 0.05 times 9.8. So my FTY, I believe it's 0.49, but let me just do the math to make sure. Yep, 0.49 newtons. Okay, so that's for the y direction. Now I need to solve this for the x direction. Um, if I solve this, I'm going to get, uh, remember, FTX equals M, and then AC is V squared divided by R. Uh, this is my linear speed. This is my radius. Uh, linear speed, remember, if you're going around a circle, uh, it's the distance divided by the time. Well, the distance around a circle is, yes, that's correct, circumference. To find the circumference, you do 2 pi r divided by the period. Um, so then we have to plug our stuff in. Now, to solve for my period, I'm going to say, okay, well, period is the time that it takes to go around once. So if you're, I'm like, well, if I eight seconds and five revolutions, the time that it takes to go around once is going to be eight seconds, because again, time, so that's why seconds is on top, divided by five, so eight seconds divided by five revolutions. And when you do that, eight divided by five, 1.6 seconds. So it takes 1.6 seconds per revolution, that's your period. Uh, if I plug stuff in, I'm going to get 2 pi times 0.7 over 1.6. If I do the math, uh, 2 pi times 0.7 divided by 1.6, you get 2.75 meters per second, so roughly the B is traveling about five and a half miles an hour, so yeah, that could happen. Um, and then we got to plug it back in up here, so you get 0.05 times 2.75 squared divided by 0.7. Uh, it's just the 2.75 squared, okay? Um, 
and then solve. So I'm going to erase this just to clean it up a little bit. Let me do the math. Uh, this number squared times 0.05 divided by 0.7, and you get 0.54 newtons. Okay. Um, but then the question asks, what is the tension in the string? So now I have to combine these two uh, components, and if I do that, I get 0 0.54, 0 0.49, okay, and then solve. Uh, if you do this, so this squared plus 0.49 squared, take the square root. You get 0.73, so my Ft equals 0.73 newtons at, okay, because again, uh, this is a vector, so I need to find this angle, so if I do, I don't know, I'll do sine, so 0.49 divided by this, and then inverse sine of that, you get 42 degrees at 42 degrees above the horizontal. Okay. Bye, kids.